Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome to another Sega Wall, Sega Saturn Next Level video guys. This is number three, hashtag three, and there's going to be lots. And I'm deliberately going to keep them smaller, you know, I've had a lot of Japanese Sega Saturn games turn up over the last few weeks. I've got another bundle imminent and I thought I've got to start showing you guys these games because wow we've got some absolute stunning games here and I'm just going to hand pick a few at a time for each video the first game up you can see playing on the B&O guys and that's Galaxy Force Galaxy Force 2 on the Sega Ages label but yeah had to add this to the collection. This is a game that I didn't realise come out on the Sega Ages label. It was on one of my videos. I commented getting the the Mega Drive port of Galaxy Force and just saying that I'd never played a decent port of it. And someone in comments, I can't remember who it was, tipped me off and said you need to check out Galaxy Force 2 on the Sega Ages Sega Saturn. So that is now added to the library. I've had a bit of a blast on this game. It's not a game I'm familiar with in the arcades. Never played this game back in the day. And my only experience of it really is the Mega Drive version. So you guys could probably tell me better how close this is. But you know, it's a typical, for the, for the time, a 2D scaler. One of Sega's famous 2D scalers. Galaxy Force 2 didn't seem to get, in my era anyway, the hype of some of the other classics of the time. And that leads us on to one that was massive. And it's still, I would love a Grail item is to have this arcade. And uh, it's a Sega Ages one again, and that's Space Harrier, guys. So obviously these were available in the UK on the Sega Ages Volume 1. And um, we had Afterburner 2, Outrun, and Space Harrier. But yeah. Space Harrier, absolutely glorious game. It's a game that I'll pick up every now and again and just have a quick blast through. Um, it's just one of those games that has been like that for me for many years. And I like lots of different conversions of it. My favourite port, look at that guys, absolutely mint. Pete Coombs, everything I've had off him is just absolutely stunning condition with all the leaflets. Um, little booklet there. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm getting sidetracked. I remember loving the 32X version of this game. I just thought it was absolutely stunning. Everyone moaning about the 32X. And I remember getting my 32X off a car boot sale. For the time, cheap as chips. And I do remember it coming with Space Harrier, the Star Wars game and Doom. And I just remember being obsessed with these games and Space Harrier played a blinder and it is really good on the Sega Saturn Sega Ages so there's the more mainstream games guys and um, the ones we know and then we're going to get on to some really quality games a game that um, I didn't know about until I think it was Eddie Roller X Core Roller Core X he um, showed this off in a video and I thought wow that game is so cool I'd love to get that game one day because, again, it's another arcade game, um, a Taito game that I adored back in the day and still play loads today. Again, I enjoy many home conversions of this game. I don't think there's a bad one. You know, even the NES version of this plays good. <laughs> and that's Bubble Bobble. Um, and the sequel, which I didn't know anything about until I see Eddie's video, and that's Bubble Symph Symphony. Is that right, Scott? <laughs> but yeah, this is kind of more of the same, really. It's more of a remake in some kind of ways than, than a, an outright sequel. It just ups the ante. It ups the visuals. Glorious backgrounds, backdrops. Um, a lot more enemies. A lot more to it. But follows the same formula and pattern. So Bubble Symphony. Absolutely love this game. Really good. And a good addition to the series as well. Highly recommend this one, guys. 
and maybe that's one we're going to have a blast on. Because I want to keep these short, these videos, and showcasing some of the games, but just so we can really get our teeth into playing these games, because that's what's so vital, and why I'm changing up and mixing up the Sega Wall and my collection in general, is to have those games that I'm going to play. Yes, I love to collect them and fill my shelves with all this plastic, but ultimately, there's got to be a goal there for me, and... The Pal Sega Saturn, it was a no-brainer in the end to move those on and invest in these quality games that I'm going to give hours of fun with. I'm going to give hours of play and time to, and I have been, guys. Sip of tea. And yeah, so Bubble Symphony, maybe that's one we'll have a little go on. Next up a game, another game that I knew nothing about. I'm still getting to grips with this game. I've got so many games to get into. There's certain games that have gripped me and have taken up a lot of my time. And they'll probably get exclusive videos, some of those games. But this game I was really impressed with and I need to really give it more time. And that is Kingdom Grand Prix. This is really unique, this game. It is, it is a shooter. It is a vertical um, shooter, but... You're also in a race. Sounds mad. It is mad. But it kind of works. A really clever concept. And a twist on, you know, at the time would have been a really dry shooter market. You know, everything had been done. This was released originally in 94. And then Gaga Communications released it on the Sega Saturn in 96. So, you know, the height of shoot -em ups you know, and it was crying out for for something different, and we got that with a lot of great games. And Kingdom Grand Prix, it's terrible that this game never got a Western release, it really is, because I think it would have done quite well, the fact that it's got that racing element in it. And I think this is a game where it's got a lot of depth to it as well. So I've not sussed everything on this one yet, guys, but I tell you what, it's glorious. Beautiful graphics, really, really nice graphics. Again, absolutely stellar from Pete. It's got the little spine card, the little registration clip. It's all in absolutely mint condition, which all of these games are. Um, it's been difficult by... It's been a tough one, guys. You know, I've got so many great games. I've got enough games to last me a lifetime coming uh, my way and yeah this game's definitely going to get some more play and another contender I think guys for um, a bit of gameplay because I'm hoping that a lot of you have never seen this game before and it gives you something to think oh that looks stunning I've got to play this game and then finally onto a shooter that is really highly regarded and I believe it's a fantastic conversion on the Sega Saturn. A game one that I've played a bit. And I love the setting of this shooter. And that is Battle Gariga. Absolutely fantastic game this. Um, by Raisin. Yeah, I love the sort of war. And sort of mixes retro kind of Second World War looking craft with more modern ships. Does that make sense? I kind of like that style. There was a Neo Geo game. The Ghost Pilots and stuff like that. I really enjoy that. And Fire Shark. I love these um, war style games. Absolutely fantastic. Really enjoy this style of game. Again, it's gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous visuals. A, a brilliant kind of bullet hell. You know, we are getting into that bullet hole territory now. Um, but yeah, this is this is a glorious one. Lots of replay ability in this one too. And another one that I've really got to play a lot more. And this one we're definitely playing, guys. And um, we're definitely playing this one. But again, it's all mint, guys, with the spine card. I'm absolutely buzzing. I've, I haven't been so excited about... A development in the Sega Wall for so long. I, I know that I've made the right decision with letting one of my oldest collections be thinned out. And that's the PAL Saturn. 
just so I can reinvigorate my enthusiasm and the buzz I'm getting from playing all this Sega Saturn guys is unreal. So let me know in comments guys what you think of these games. We're now going to choose a couple and I think it is going to be Kingdom Grand Prix and Battle Gariga. We'll see how the time goes on that and maybe we might pop in a bit of Bubble Symphony as well. But yeah, I'm going to move the camera around, zoom it in on the B&O guys so we can take a closer look at some gameplay. Right, first game up is Battle Gariga. Verizon! Published by Electronic Arts and it didn't get a release in the UK. Crazy, isn't it? Absolutely love the art style in this game. Well, let's get straight into it, guys. So you've got four craft to choose from. The Silver Sword, the Grasshopper, Flying Baron, and Wild Snail. Oh, and I think that's automatically, because I took so long, chose the Wild Snail, which is a slower but heavier ship. But look at those graphics, guys. Hasn't this recently been released? on modern consoles. A fantastic game. And then I right on cue I die. Take those as a normal You'll note that I'll go quiet when playing these games. I find it really difficult to talk and concentrate. <laughs> oh. Great sound effects, awesome soundtrack. is down really love the depth really creates a lot of depth in this game and that's one thing I love is that like scrolling technique they use in vertical shooters to kind of give that depth and it's got a very Raiden feel about it too I, I'd imagine but I just love that kind of war setting on vertical shooters. Like all shooters, I think this is going to be time consuming to master. But I don't pretend to be any expert guys in shooters. I just love the genre. I'm, I'm not that great at them. I'm better at the old school ones than I am these more bullet hells. This one's kind of where I like it to be though. Not too frantic. A nice balance. And you've got to have tanks. You've got to have tanks in these games. It's just a must. Whoa! Let's take him out with this special weapon. raining in there I tried there's a continue over guys but there's Battle Kariga let me know what you think of that one stunning game really is um, but let's load the next one guys I break it up a bit and we've got some Bubble Symphony this is a game that I really want to get into some more it looks gorgeous you know it's more of like I said it's more of an update on the original Bubble Bubble one 
when you've got a formula that works like that, then why mess with it? Why break it? And I think that's where they've gone with this one. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the game, guys. Now you can choose between four different characters. Two boys, two girls. We're going to stick with the main ones. Is it Bub or is it Bob? So yeah, it's yeah. Normal bubble bubble formula here, but you can choose your next round. The hours we spent. Oh, and I've died already, guys. <laughs> the hours I used to play this game on the Spectrum. This was one that was in our local chippy as well. Not this game, but Bubble Bobble. But I believe this was an arcade game. I've never played this in the arcades. Let me know, guys, if you've played this in the arcade. Apparently it did get a, a, a release. Might not have got a release here in the UK. Oh, I just hit myself there. kind of like the, the symphony music in the background. Should have used that to get down there. Oh well. I've yet to play the Switch version of this. Is it any good? Oh, that was close. It's going to be interesting. And here we go, here's a boss. Right, what have we got to do? Imagine we've got to get that potion up here. Oh. 
And there we go, guys. I didn't beat the first boss, but there is Bubble Symphony. A great little game, a nice one to chill out to. I do like a nice little puzzle sort of platformer like this every now and again, just when I want to chill out a bit and just relax. But yeah, there is Bubble Symphony, guys. Let's roll on to the next one. And here we go, guys. Here is Kingdom Grand Prix. We're going to go with Saturn mode because I believe Arcade mode puts it into Tarte mode. <clears throat> um, so there's a number of races, ships to choose from. Got Pixie there, a massive like robot. Some like gargoyle type dude, some witchy looking guy. I think we're going to go with this guy to begin with. This is my first impressions pretty much guys. I've, I've got so many games to play through. I've not given this one too much time. So why I kind of wanted to play this one with you guys. Just so we get the first impressions together. So I'm losing positions here. I think you have to weigh up how much you shoot. If you shoot, you slow up. I'm now sick. Let's clear some of this. him so when you get up to the top end you go a lot quicker try and catch these guys up because we're sick oh and we finished sick guys Yeah, let me know in comments what are you thinking of this. This has got a lot of potential, this game. I can't wait to sit down and have a proper session on this one. I'm not sure what collecting the P's are, if it's just points. Oh, I ran straight into that bullet. This really, your mind, you've got so much to focus on. This is pretty crazy. Fifth again. Seventh now. Oh, flew straight into that. Doing worse, this go, guys. Absolutely fantastic bosses. Oh, let's be a different character. Let's 
try this one. Oh, but guys, if you played this game, and you got any tips? Let me know because this is challenging. Am I doing something wrong, guys? How gorgeous does it all look, though? I'm taking it you just go to the top of the screen because you see your speedometer sort of like increase. It doesn't seem to be. Oh, look at that car. So I finished eighth there, guys. And just play one more round, see if I can... Start mastering this a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you've got to focus on the racing, the shooting. It's very difficult. Oh, I'm liking this thing. Very medieval fantasy. Oh. One's got more of a course to it. The fifth guys. Oh, we were going fourth until I got taken out there. Oh, straight into that. It's a, another go with a different. Oh, we're the, okay. the gargle guy, are we? We're third. Oh, I'm loving this race. Oh, we've got zombies. Goodness, it's grabbed me. We dropped the four. Was the boss? What's it going to be? Is it a count? Yes, look at that. Vampire. Taken out. How do they get to go past? I'm going to finish eighth again, guys. Oh, come on. Seventh. <laughs> and there we go, guys. There is Kingdom Grand Prix. There's going to be plenty more Sega Saturn videos, guys. No fear there. Until the next time, I'm Sega Zombie. Goodbye.